We know that brand new chipsets and processors are on the way from both Intel and AMD. And with their release dates reportedly not too far away now, things are certainly starting to heat up. Yep, another generation of CPU wars are just on the horizon. And as often as the case in these situations, both manufacturers will clearly be looking and vying for your business. Unlike other releases in recent memory, however, seems that this one is gonna get a little bit more aggressive. AMD may have actually just declared war on Intel. And additionally, Nvidia may have just declared war on AMD. Yeah, but that's got your attention. But before we get into that though, here's a quick word from this video sponsor. Hello mate, you all right? Yeah, just got all the bits from my banging new gaming PC. Just gotta put it together. It's gonna be so much better than yours. Oh, right. What did you get then? The latest Intel 12th gen processor, a feature packed motherboard and 32 gig of DDR4 memory. See, miles ahead of yours. <laughs> you, you realize that board needs DDR5 memory, don't you? Don't tell me you went and bought the wrong stuff. DDR4 is so 2014. I can't believe you was that stupid. <gasps> what? No, you're joking. What should I get then? For me, I'd be looking at Corsair's newest Vengeance DDR5 kits, or if you're wanting that all important RGB, then go for the Dominator Platinum RGB. Oh, you are a lifesaver, thanks. But where can I find out more? By clicking the link in the description below, of course. <laughs> you call me the stupid one. So starting with processors, it's been well speculated for more than a month now that AMD would be the first to get their next gen models out the door with the launch of their Ryzen 7000 series CPUs set for August 29th. Yes, admittedly, this date was nothing more than a rumor. It was so consistent from so many sources, however, that it had gone far beyond just speculation or guesswork. This was happening. It just needed AMD's official rubber stamp. And in that regard, well, earlier this week, we got it. AMD Ryzen 7000 will be officially launching on August 29th. Taking things a step further, however, one new leak did appear online that certainly seemed to suggest that AMD is possibly attempting to steal a lot of thunder from Intel. Well, incidentally, likely really pissing them off in the process. How? Well, it's been said that although Ryzen 7000 will launch on August the 29th, they will see a physical retail release on September the 27th. Now, before you rush to the comments to correct me, yes, originally all the prior leaks so far had pointed towards a Ryzen 7000 release date of September the 15th. It appears, however, that AMD may have chosen, very deliberately, to push this back to September the 27th. Why? Well, possibly due to logistical issues. Maybe it's something to do with some last minute tweaks to AM5. Eh, maybe they just felt like it. Alternatively, perhaps it's entirely something to do with the fact that on September the 29th, Intel is expected to host their innovation event, which is expected to include, as a key flagship I might add, the launch of the new 13th generation Raptor Lake desktop processors. Yes, in a nutshell, AMD may have just chosen to release Ryzen 7000 to consumers on the exact same day where Intel is merely you know, launching their Raptor Lake processors. And if this is true, the only word I have for it is wow. <laughs> it's been a long time since either Intel or AMD have felt compelled to play such an aggressive move. And on a side note, this perhaps doesn't spell too well for Ryzen 7000. Could AMD maybe be doing this because their next gen CPUs aren't gonna stack up too well against Raptor Lake? It's a very big possibility. Anyway, you look at this though, with seconds to go until the Ringmaster rings the bell to start this fight, AMD has already taken their gloves off and it'll be interesting to see how Intel responds. At this point though, you might be wondering how Nvidia comes into this. Well, in terms of processors, they don't. Graphics cards though, there we hit onto an interesting new piece of information. Following reports from sources close to Chinese supply and manufacturing chains, information has appeared online suggesting that before the end of this month, yes, August, AMD and far more specifically Nvidia are finally going to start making some incredibly aggressive moves when it comes to graphics card prices. Do you remember how we told you in a video earlier this month that it might be wise to wait a little bit longer before buying your next GPU? Well, this is the exact thing that we said might happen. And put simply, that moment might be less than two weeks away. Now, according to the source, Nvidia and AMD both have advised AIB and manufacturing partners to expect significant price cuts to their current gen models. And more so, these are set to come in place before the end of this month. 
This is understood to apply to the entire range of Radeon 6000 and Nvidia 3000 series. But it's understood that of the two, Nvidia is going to be the far more aggressive shaker and mover here. It may even explain leaks earlier this month saying that Nvidia had now restarted production of their 3080 graphics card. This model would clearly represent a very tempting proposition at a new, notably lower, price point. Put simply though, presuming this rumour is true, a GPU price war is coming, and by and large it appears that Nvidia is going to be really going for it. Now yes, admittedly, Nvidia were always going to be the more proactive given that it's a well kind of known fact that they have masses of GPU cores and GPUs that simply aren't selling. Consumers don't want the graphics cards at their current prices, and by proxy, AIBs don't want more cores for GPUs that, well, aren't leaving the shelves. Presuming that aggressive price cuts are on the way, however, it's already been speculated that the current gen 3090 Ti flagship might actually go below £1,000, basically half its original MSRP price. And this is with AIB partner models, by the way, not the Nvidia Founders Edition. It might even see the RTX 3080 go below £500, all of which clearly spells kind of excellent potential price cuts for the entire 3000 series that may even be so aggressive that Nvidia is willing to take noticeable losses on the GPUs simply in order to clear out current gen stock that they predicted might have been needed by crypto miners. And well, now us humble gaming consumers are all they have left. AMD will of course try to respond as best they can, but let's face it, Nvidia clearly has more consumer interest with many people simply waiting for prices to get low enough to pounce. Finally though, there is one more factor to consider that quite frankly has never popped up before. It's Intel again. If Nvidia and AMD do apply huge price cuts to their GPUs before the end of this month or early-ish September, there might be another reason behind it beyond merely attempting to clear out existing stock. With Intel set to imminently release its Arc desktop graphics cards, their entire planned price structure might be completely destroyed if AMD and Nvidia preemptively go in for huge discounts. A cynical view, maybe, but AMD and Nvidia losing some money right now might make them a whole lot more in the future by basically destroying Intel's Arc series before it even truly gets out of the gates. In fact, this could turn Intel Arc into less of a damp squid and more of a total disaster for the blue team. This is of course all very speculative at the moment, but based on the news however, these GPU price cuts might be happening, basically now. So keep your eyes peeled, because all going well, we're going to have some fantastic deals to put your way in the very near future. I'm not going to lie though, I think it might come at the potential expense and maybe even DOA of Intel Arc as a series. What do you think though? Is AMD being a bit crazy and taking on Intel so directly here? Could big discounts from Nvidia kind of destroy any chance of success for Intel Arc? Could a big last minute discount tempt you to maybe even get a 3000 series now instead of waiting for the next gen models? Let us know in the comments section below. And with that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and a sub to the channel would be amazing. And if you love what we do, consider supporting us over on Patreon, where you'll get access to our super special Discord area, exclusive behind the scenes content, and our bi-weekly game nights. That aside, I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.